we observed a very concerning deterioration of the press freedom situation all around the world and we have seen really that journalists are more and more targeted and actually what is even more concerning is that we are seeing a very important deterioration even in leading democracies. The press freedom situation is getting worse and worse in countries like the US, like Canada, like even the UK or France where we see that this uh, media bashing actually is spreading. And I think some of that is rooted in the fact that with the democratization of the web, so many people being journalists, uh, that the flaws of people who are not professionals, or, as well as the flaws of people who are, get magnified uh, in a way that uh, politicians are using. But I think that shouldn't mask a real public concern about bias and, and sometimes just inadequacy. Journalists aren't covering the news the way they once did. It becomes quickly clear that even though we're all talking about free press, we're actually talking about very different things because everyone comes at it with a different cultural standpoint. You can criticize the press and you need to criticize it to make it better, but you need to realize that if you get just into the delusion of what's true, what's not true, what's biased or not, you just forget the first goal, which is to hold powerful accountable. And I think also we need to keep an eye out on the issues that, that indirectly impact journalists. So. Uh, uh, broad government surveillance powers that allow federal, state, local authorities uh, to investigate journalists just for doing their job. Those are things that we need to look at very carefully and make sure that they, they don't go too far. It's going to come back to all of us asking how we can help journalism survive.